Howdy folks, Captain Chris Medlin here, East Coast Sports, with your Tackle and Tips segment. Well, today we're going to talk about scaling back your tackle, trying to get a little bit more stealthy, especially in the summertime when the water is clear out there in the surf. A lot of the fish can see the clips and swivels and the heavy leaders that are on your line and will avoid baits that are attached to them. Especially sea mullet and pompano, you really want to scale back for those guys. They can see and they, they tend to avoid it. So. A lot of times I suggest for people to make their own rigs. I've seen little old ladies who will take and tie small little loops in their line, and tie a big loop at the bottom so they can loop a snailed hook on, loop a snailed hook on, loop a weight on at the bottom, and they'll beat you just about every time catching fish. You'll be out there fishing with a store-bought rig most of the time, not having near as much luck as she will, and they'll school you. So uh, at the end of the segment, we'll also talk about some specific hooks for specific ki kinds of fish. Here's one of the hooks that I would suggest for using in the surf, especially in the summertime. Uh, number six through a number four eagle clawed snailed hook. That's the 231X. These hooks can get stealthy. There's not much for the fish to see, especially if you've made your own rig. And they're really easy to set up on your line. Here's one of the better hooks that we would use for red drum, especially in the surf. Baiting this up with a live finger mullet on a Carolina rig and drifting it through a slough is a really good way to go. Circle hooks are great because a lot of times the fish will swallow the whole bait and it'll come out of their belly and get hung on their jaw. Plus you can get a better hookup ratio with a circle hook a lot of times. So keep in mind that these hooks are really sharp and they work much better if you can snell them too. The Sea Striker Wide Bend hooks, these are a great hook while you're fishing for flounder. Uh, baiting these up with a mud minnow or live shrimp or just about anything like that. It's also a good hook for speckled trout underneath the float. And uh, it's one of the best hooks that you can use for just about any kind of fishing. 